it's news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Cyril Akunjili. Why I deleted Facebook posts accusing IPOB for killing my brother. Cyril Akunjili, brother of the murdered Dr. John Chike Akunjili, confirmed his death early on Wednesday with a post on Facebook accusing the militants of the indigenous people of Biafra as his killers. IPOP killed my senior brother. Why? Husband of Professor Dora Akunjili is dead. IPOP, why on a Tuesday he wrote. The post went viral and the screenshot was repeatedly quoted by Nigerians. But checks on his Facebook hours later showed that Cyril had deleted the post. He was no longer announcing his brother's death as his page as it's filled with messages augmenting the political campaign of YPP candidate Oba. The removal of the post also came as IPOP issued a statement exculpating its members from the killing. PM News asked Cyril why he removed the post. I was not on the spot to accuse anyone. Let us wait for police investigations, he responded. Well, the police had also issued a statement not making any specific accusation about the matter. The statement blamed unknown gunmen for the dastardly killing in Ukbo, Anambra State. According to the statement by the police PPRO DSP Tochuku Ikenga, which was released on behalf of the police commissioner Tony Olofu, the gunmen seemed to have lost every iota of human conscience and sensibility. The police statement said that at about 5 p.m. around the Ukbo roundabout and without any provocation, some gunmen attacked and shot a police inspector attached to a very important personality, VIP. At Afo Unkbo Junction, three unidentified bodies were recovered. A burnt Toyota Elox and vandalized Toyota Oma. Bars were also seen at that crime scene. The lifeless body were taken to the hospital, and regrettably, one of the bodies was as identified as Dr. Akunili Ikenga said in the statement. He said that bandits also beheaded a yet-to-be-identified man thereafter fled the scene of the crime after committing this, uh, this barbaric act. Therefore, Saril Akunili, who is the brother uh, of the husband to the late uh, Dora Akunili, the director general of the NAVDAC uh, as a den, has actually brought down a, that same post of uh, uh, you know questioning the indigenous people of Biafra uh, on why they had killed his senior brother, uh, Dr. John Tiki Akunyili. And when asked why he did this, he said that it was left for the police to do their proper investigations and before he can actually conclude, saying that he cannot accuse anyone uh, yet. Dr. Akunyili was returning from his trip to Onicha, where he had gone to obtain a posthumous award of excellence for his late wife when he ran into the hoodlums at Umpo and was shot and killed. The hoodlums, it was gathered, were chanting no election in Anambra in November. The state police public relations officer, Ikenga Tochuku, could not confirm the report, noting that he had yet to get the details of the incident. And the correspondent of the report reports that the Agulu community, where Akunyilis hailed from, is mourning, adding that, however, that nobody is ready to talk to the press. A former vice president of Agulu community, who is also a retired information officer with the Federal Ministry of Information, confirmed the incidents to the correspondent of the Punch on telephone, but asked for publications to, delay, uh, to be delayed without giving reasons. The Anambra State Commissioner for Information also confirmed the incident, but asked to be given time to obtain clearance to discuss the issue. And this is the case. And uh, as a result of this, uh, you know, there has been cases about the gubernatorial election that was to be taking place uh, in Anambra State, where the indigenous people of Biafra and um, some others had actually said that there will be no election, that there should be no election uh, in, in Anambra State, saying that nothing, uh, that, and um, you know, the gubernatorial aspirant had actually be uh, begging the indigenous pe pe people of uh, of, of Biafra, that they should be, uh, that they should not actually do that. That they should please allow, uh, uh, you know, election to take place, so that 
there can be uh, equity and there can be justif- uh, justification of uh, the ills going on and the maladministration going on in Anambra State. But the indigenous people of Biafra uh, actually seems not to agree with what is actually uh, being said by uh, this gubernatorial aspirant saying that regardless of what it is, there should be no election uh, in Anambra State. And just like it has been reported, that the husband of the late Director General of, the, of NAVDAC actually went to collect a posthumous award of his late wife uh, in regard you know, to, her, to her excellence you know, while she was alive. And therefore, on his way back from the award, he was actually uh, you know, relayed by the uh, bandits, uh, unknown gunmen, and he was actually uh, killed. He was shot and killed. And people around the environment are actually mourning him, thereby not giving any information yet about what is truly happening. And then this, out of many, because seven others who were killed in Anambra State, is why Renomokri had actually said that the President Muhammad Buhari is actually thinking of declaring a state of emergency in the southeast, saying that the, if the develop, and, uh, saying that if this development is true, then it must be because of the high-profile murders that have been going on uh, in the southeastern region. Amokri was tweeted that let the man whose trousers never reach the floor be warned, and that was because President Muhammad Buhari visited the most state, you know, in a trouser that actually spoke out reactions on the social media, saying that uh, the one is the Indigo Youth, uh, Indigo Worldwide too, while reacting to the Akulinili's murder, said that the federal government may indeed, you know, declare the state of emergency in the region, because the Southeast seems to have been plagued with several pockets of insecurity and violence following the detention of their leader, that is, in Abdekanu, because they had actually said that for, they would be going on a one month uh, sit at home, you know, order if uh, their leader was not brought to court on October 24th, 2021, which was his trial date. However, also for October 1st, 2021, which is supposed to be the Independence Day, they had set a sit at home order yet again that every Biafran should not go out that day and also. Anywhere that the Nigerian flag was hoisted, it should be brought down. Seeing that they were going to talk to the banks themselves to find, so that they can see reasons with them to bring down this. And that is why uh, the people have the opinion that the indigenous people of Biafra are likely to be involved in this case. And the president, Muhammadu Buhari, is being, you know, a guest, because it's still a guest, that he, he may likely declare a state of emergency in the southeastern parts of the country. Thanks for listening.